So I came across this nice cast iron Tecumseh. It's a six horsepower. So I'm going to fix it up, put it on a wheel horse, of course. And this magneto section came off of a different engine. So these bolts are slotted here and they need to be put in the right place. So that's timing your magneto. Remember the point gap setting affects the timing. So before you set the timing of the magneto, make sure you got the set of points installed that you're going to use. Go ahead and tighten up these bolts and then set the point gap and then loosen the bolts back up to adjust the timing. So the book says that your timing dimension before top dead center is 80 thousandths of an inch for this particular engine. So what that means is we're going to set this piston at 80 thousandths from the top of its travel in the proper direction and we're going to rotate this plate and the slots until you get the points to open at that particular position. So what I need here is a battery and a test light. I've got a couple of alligator clip leads here to make the connection and I have a machine chop indicator so that I can measure the travel of the piston from top dead center. So I'm going to hook the test light to the positive of the battery here. I'm going to use the red lead to connect from the contact point of your test light. Over to this terminal. Now they say you want to have your wires removed but your nut in place so that it keeps the proper tension on that spring right there. So connect your red lead to that terminal and then your black lead goes from the negative of the battery to somewhere on the frame. So I'm just going to go right on that aluminum casting right there. So as your points open, then the light goes out. Now I got a test indicator here, and it's sitting on the gasket surface. Now in this case the piston stays below flush of the gasket surface, so there's no interference with the magnetic base there. So you want to bring your piston to the top, find the uppermost travel, set your indicator zero there. So the dimension in the book for this engine is 80 thousandths before top dead center. In this case the engine turns clockwise as we're looking at it from the magneto side. So I'm going to go counterclockwise past 80 thousandths and then clockwise back into the 80 thousandths dimension. I need my bolts just a little bit looser here so I can turn it. try to turn this to right where that transition is. Snug it up. I'm 
one problem with doing that is as soon as you tighten the bolts it changes your setting so what you want to do is snug them up so that you can't really turn this by hand but I'm going to turn it with a hammer and a piece of aluminum just have to make sure you hit it in the right place now in this case I want the light to come on since I'm at my 80,000th dimension to make the light come on you would have to close the points So I'm going to bump it this way a little bit. I saw that my needle had moved a little bit, so when I went and corrected that, the light came on. Now if you turn that, it looks like the light comes on right at the 80,000th dimension. see the light came on when I tightened it and now it's about 79 and a half so that's still within spec well that's still pretty close I don't know what the spec is so always go back and make sure your dial didn't move make sure your indicator goes back to zero properly go past center and come upward and there the light goes off pretty much right at 80 before top dead center okay that worked out good make sure your bolts are tight That's it.